As you no doubt remember, temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a system. And thus, it's important to ask the question, how fast does a gas molecule go? Because that will determine the kinetic energy. If you look closely, you'll notice that not all the gas particles are going at the same velocity. So we have to describe the velocity or the speed at which a molecule of gas goes with a probability distribution. That distribution is shown here. It's the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. What we're going to do here is to explore the functional form and look at some of the properties of this probability distribution. If we graph this equation for a particular molecular weight, say nitrogen or helium as shown on this graph, initially there's no probability that a particle will be at rest going at zero velocity. As we look at higher and higher velocities, there's a higher and higher probability that our particles will have those higher velocities. When we get to some point, we have a maximum in the curve, in the probability curve. That's the, the speed, or the velocity, at which most of the particles are going. That's the most probable speed. And then past that, higher and higher speeds are less and less and less likely. So there's very low probability for nitrogen that I have a molecule going at 5,000 meters per second. However, there's a significant probability that I would have a particle going at 1,000 meters per second. Notice that the larger the mass, the smaller the velocities. The curve is shifted towards lower velocities. This makes sense because larger masses are generally going to move more slowly. Now let's look at the graph for two different temperatures but the same mass. So if I keep the molar mass the same, so the same type of particle, but I look at this at different temperatures, we can see that the higher the temperature, the more the curve is shifted towards higher velocities. And this makes sense because we consider higher temperatures to indicate higher kinetic energies of our gas particles. So we would expect, on average, that the particles will be going at higher speeds when I have a higher temperature. Now let's look at some properties of probability distributions in general. To be a good probability distribution, if I add up all the probabilities, I should get one. So in other words, if I take the area underneath this curve, the area underneath that curve should equal one. Remember that finding the area under a curve is the same thing as integrating over all values. And so if I integrate the prob dis probability distribution from 0 to infinity, that should equal 1, because this is a normalized probability. Another feature of this probability distribution is that there is a velocity which maximizes the probability. So we get a maximum in the curve, for instance, at 80 degrees of about 200 meters per second. That is, most of our molecules are going at 200 meters per second. Remember that mathematically, the way we find a maximum is to set the derivative equal to zero and solve for Vmax.